A warrior is a way of life, a way of thinking, a way of being. Carlos Castaneda says we choose only once to be warriors or ordinary. We choose only once because choosing to be a warrior alters your fundamental approach to life. While others will view everything as a blessing or a curse, you will see only challenges. And a warrior lives to overcome challenges. Every warrior has a code, an ethos. It is an invisible thread that connects him to all of his warrior brothers and sisters since the beginning of time. Stephen Pressfield asks, how do we find our true calling, our soul companions, our destiny? He answers, in this task, our greatest ally is the warrior ethos. A warrior never hopes, but yet he must have faith. Hope is powerless, useless. The longer we sit in hope, the more time we waste. Because the universe gives only what is sought, only what is believed. Because at times not every path is clear and not every enemy is fire and dragon. When the forest is dark, the warrior holds his ground with faith that if he remembers the warrior code, the light to illuminate the darkness will come. For the warrior, the body is as important as the mind, for the two are inseparable. Daniel Bellelli writes, A person who knows there is a wild wolf living under his skin is less likely to be intimidated by reality. When the mind is in doubt, the body provides tangible proof. A warrior is not an ascetic. He does not deny himself the pleasures of conquest simply for the sake of denying them. He realizes that in doing so, it is easy to think he is doing great things when really he is just focused on himself. But neither is he attached to these pleasures. He can walk away from them at any time. Sometimes he does, just to prove it to himself. The warrior is a natural leader, and he leads under one principle, follow me. When Alexander the Great was threatened with mutiny after years of brutal campaigning in India, he stepped forward, stripped off his armor, and challenged his men. Bring forth a man who has bled more than me and we will go home. No one stepped forth, because it was Alexander, riding his horse Bucephalus with a double-plumed helmet, leading every charge. His men erupted in cheers and pounded their shields. The warrior is a believer. As Paulo Coelho says, because he believes in miracles, miracles begin to happen. Because he is sure that his thoughts can change his life, his life begins to change. Because he is certain that he will find love, love appears. A warrior is highly tuned to sense danger, but he does not fear. He does not fear because pain is temporary and death an illusion. What is eternal cannot die, and he knows that he will laugh, he will love, and he will fight for all eternity in this world or some other. If he errs, if he wanders, if he indulges in self-pity, he does not despair. He knows that he is human, and he remembers the choice that he made. He picks his sword back up from the ground and resumes the path of the warrior. A warrior fights for one reason alone, love. Love of life, love of what is good, love of family, love of tribe, and love for his infinite soul on the quest for impeccability. He lets love swell in his heart, flushing through every cell of his being until he can't help but proclaim, like Cyrano de Bergerac, I am going to be a storm, a flame. I need to fight whole armies alone. I have ten hearts. I have a hundred arms. I feel too strong to war with mortals. Bring me.